you've been following the news recently, you may have heard that Ford recently made a $500 million investment in electric truck maker Rivian. But we've already heard that Ford is planning on releasing its own line of electric vehicles, so why would they want Rivian's help? Well, here are my thoughts. Ford is kind of in an odd position. They've announced that they want to develop an entire line of electric vehicles, but they really haven't made a mass market EV in the past. The closest thing they've gotten is the electric Ford Focus that came out a few years ago, but it only had 115 miles of range, and that just isn't going to cut it in 2019. Ford plans on releasing trucks and SUVs on this electric line, and if they try to just take the electric engine from that commuter car like a Focus and try to put it on a heavier duty truck or SUV, it's just not going to work. So they may need Rivian's help here. Rivian has secretly been developing a truck and SUV on an electric platform since 2009, so they've got 10 years of experience in this field. But most importantly, they've developed this skateboard system that they use on their vehicles. And on this skateboard system, they've packed the battery, the motor, the entire electrical network, basically everything needed to propel the car forward on this little platform that sits right below the wheel which means that that platform will be easily adaptable to other vehicles. And this is exactly what I think Ford is after with that investment. They're giving Rivian a bunch of capital to continue development of their vehicles, and then they're able to leverage Rivian's expertise in that skateboard platform to help build their own SUVs and trucks. You may have also heard that Amazon made a big investment in Rivian, and why would they want to do that? They don't make trucks. Why would they want to invest in a truck company? Well, they don't make them, but they do use them for all of their shipping. And traditionally, they've just contracted this out to FedEx or UPS, the Postal Service, all kinds of other people to send out their products. But if they want to do any kind of vertical integration and take care of the shipping themselves, they're going to need an entire fleet of trucks where, again, Rivian may come in. Rivian would be able to develop trucks perfect for delivering small to medium-sized packages all throughout the cities they're in, which they do all the time. And if you know anything about electric vehicles, you know that they are perfect for making small trips throughout town every single day. So this would be a perfect fit for Amazon. Then when they're done shipping for the day, they can just drive back to the shipping center, plug in overnight, and they'll be ready to go in the morning. Not to mention that these trucks would also be able to run just a ton of miles. We know electric motors are very efficient. They're able to run a lot of miles and not rack up a lot of wear. But not only would Amazon be able to use Rivian to move all their products, Rivian would also be able to use Amazon to sell their vehicles as well as accessories and other parts. So these investments are a huge deal. I don't think I've ever seen this big of an investment in an electric car startup like Rivian. I think this is going to be awesome for them. They'll now have a ton of capital to work with and invest and continue to develop their vehicles. Their R1T is scheduled to be put into production in 2020, so hopefully with these dollars, they'll be able to hit that date. So if you want to learn more about Rivian's trucks, I actually did a video on that after they announced them at the LA Auto Show last year. Uh, so you can check out that video. It'll be linked down in the description as well as up here. Also link Rivian's website down below so you can check that out after the video and learn more about Rivian because I think they're probably poised to bring an electric truck to market before anybody else. So what do you think about these investments? I want to hear your thoughts. Do you think Ford and Amazon are smart to invest in a startup that hasn't even rolled a truck off the lot yet? I want to hear what you're thinking down in the comments, so let me know. Be sure to hit that like button as well if you enjoyed this video, and make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss my future videos. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.